So what is the SDLC? The SDLC originated in the 1960s as a way to define and develop large scale business functions. The SDLC is used in systems engineering, information systems, and software engineering. And depending on where the SDLC or the development life cycle is being used, it's called different things such as the system development life cycle or application development life cycle or software development life cycle. And there's also been spin-offs of the SDLC such as Agile SDLC, Waterfall SDLC, See. DevOps, CICD, Grad, XP programming, extreme programming, you get the picture. The SDLC can also have several phases that can range from a few steps, usually five core steps, such as planning, analysis, design, implementation, and maintenance. Or it can be 10 plus steps. You can really break it down and iterate it over very defined steps, depending on your application. But all in all, you just start with the initiation phase and then you end with the disposition essentially the life cycle so cradle to grave and not every project requires the phases to be sequential so for example smaller projects maybe combine steps overlapping steps you can use different methodologies within the sdlc to get to your desired conclusion each phase of the sdlc would have its own sub sub steps to complete as well this brings us to the ssdlc now i don't know when this came about the extra s and SDLC became an actual thing, but I'm assuming that it came about when some big company lost a lot of money because they didn't have security in a product or solution that they were deploying. In any case, security was not an inherent part of the SDLC and adding the additional S to the SDLC shifted the focus on to security. And this is where like the whole shift left came from. It was an initiative to put security in the forefront of any of these development life cycle projects. And it's also important to remember that adding security to any process or framework such as the L SDLC is not a one size fits all solution. You want to be able to weave in security into all areas of the process as early as possible. Therefore shifting left, typically in the design phase, you want to start building in security rather than security being an afterthought.